What is up ladies and dickheads? How you guys doing today? As you can see, we're literally getting on the freeway on the old slow DR200 McGee over here. And uh, we're actually going to go see somebody really special today. And somebody I haven't personally seen since I think 2016 or so. And that special individual is good old Shade Tree Surgeon. I know that's something you guys wouldn't be expecting today. But uh, he's actually doing a cross-country trip. And he's quite literally across the country right now. Because he's from Florida and he's out here in Cali. He randomly called me this morning while I was, I was ironically editing a moto vlog. And he called me up and he's like, yo, I'm in Palm Springs about to come through San Bernardino. I was like, no fucking shit. And... Um, he said yes shit and uh we're gonna be meeting up over here at like some in and out parking lot down here and he sent me this cool thing i didn't even know it was a thing uh there's a Waze app and it like tracked him it, like he sent me a thing where it shows him live as he's riding out here so i was able to like time it out perfect to leave out here and uh yeah we're gonna go fucking meet up with him and uh he said he wanted to do something with me for his video he has like some big video coming out i guess in, uh, in a little while and uh, i'll let him talk about that but uh he wanted me in it and i was like fucking fuck yeah i'll do that man what's up what you want to do and he's like let's meet up and i said let's do it and that's what we're doing and i thought it'd be faster to take this route instead of fucking the side streets where i'm stopping and going every five seconds i need that i can't drive 55 song blasting in my ears right now because that's all i can quite literally do as sammy hagar said that song's actually extremely badass by the way Damn, I'm getting passed by Omni Access right now. Oh shit, this is an exit only. That's cool as fuck that he's doing some cross country trip though. And that was cool of him to hit me up out of the blue like that because he's like in the area and he's like, you know what? I'm thinking of this dickhead. Let's go ahead and hit up, see if he wants to ride. And you know what's funny? I was going to golf today and then I bitched out last second to golf because I wanted to edit my, uh, you know, one of my new videos that's probably already uploaded right now. But I, I chose to work on a video instead of going out golfing. And I was like, all right, let's do that. And then sure enough, this happened. So it was like a fate thing, to be honest. It's kind of funny how that worked out. I don't think that's normal for that truck up there to be smoking that much. That shit's fucking funny. Look at that shit. It's like it's like there's a fire coming out the top of it. I can't drive 55. I'm going through these holes. I can imagine this. This is going to be like a two cycle of lights right here. Buddy, pardon me, thank you. Then this dick hits from Indiana with a tanker truck. Nice yeah, that was a way faster out. Now we got off and we're already here. Damn, and we got the green arrow. Let me see, do I see a shade tree surgeon over here? Oh, I just went through a red. Crimity. Is that him? It is. What's up, man? How you been, brother? It's been amazing, man. Oh, I saw I saw this on your uh, one of your last videos you were showing this. So this is the bike you're talking about? Yeah, dude, it's fucking ridiculous, man. This guy rode it all over like the outback off road. Fucking had it shipped here to Los Angeles, and then rode it like on the Bolivian death road all through fucking Mexico, all this crazy shit. Jesus. He hit me up because he's fucking Australian, and he's trying to get it shipped back to Australia. And he goes like, hey, can you pick it up from Miami? That's the only place I can ship it. I don't know anybody there. And I was like, yeah, sure. You know, I've known him just because of YouTube. You know, I've never met him, but I've yeah. known him for years. Where was it originally bought? Australia. It's Australia. Oh, so it's an Australian, like, ship. Yeah, oh. Dude, it's in fucking kilometers. It's got an Australian. I don't know what I'd do if I got pulled over, dude. I have no way to prove it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Hey. Hey. like a video of him going like, Oi, this is Million Dollar Bogan, it's okay if Shade Tree has it. Like, I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll show that to the top. Well, it seems reliable making it all the way out here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> all right, here with the one, the only, the OG baby, Baker X Derek. Like I said, you can't go through San Bernardino without saying what's up to him. And I ain't going to go through San Bernardino without, let, without letting him get a scan of Million Dollar Bogan's bike. And speaking of off-road bikes, you know, I, I get to ride the, the mighty DR200 of legend. Like I said, if you're... 
if you're new to motorcycle videos in the past couple years and you haven't seen the saga of the GR200, you have missed out. Like, this bike has been through a lot, man. I had it since 2013. And the freaking rebuilt motor and freaking everything in between. Yeah, I broke my rebuild cherry on this thing. I've never rebuilt a motor and I just followed the manual and it worked. And then it's. That's else right there, man. And it's got 3,000 miles since the rebuild and still runs perfect. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll follow you, man. And, and the illustrious air horn. <laughs> but uh, yeah. See, see what I mean? Oh no, it's the, it's this, and then just fuck with the clutch a little bit. Let me see if my magic my magic little dick beaters here can do it. There it goes. It, it is. This is. is. All right. Oh. Don't leave me behind, Oh, I will. I will. All right, here we go. What size is this? It's a road stick. Oh. All right, where's the blinker? Oh. Oh, it's got blinkers on both. Okay, okay. Shit. Oh my God, this is. Woo. This thing feels gnarly as hell. I've never rode one of these, so apparently this bike is literally a Australian model bought in Australia. Oh my god, Shaytree's probably feeling so foreign on that bike. <laughs> this is a big old hog, brother! <laughs> Yeah, this thing's gnarly as hell. Although I will tell you that exhaust got really old in between Tampa and California. Yeah. Oh my god, this thing is a torquey bastard. Damn, this thing sounds fucking nice. Alright, this thing's in fucking kilometers, so... I don't even know what the fuck, how fast I'm going. Damn, now I can see why people, like, like these bikes so much, especially for long rides, because this shit's, like, comfortable as shit. Man, I'm on the backrest? Holy shit. I like this, man. This is nice. This is literally like I'm on a lazy boy recliner. Holy shit. It's actually got a Two Brothers exhaust on it, even. That sounds nice. That Two Brothers? Two Brothers, yeah, dude. That sounds really nice. Yeah, it's actually really fucking relaxing and chill. Like, you're, like the backrest, like you're on a recliner. It's fucking, it's actually, I just fucking didn't have a problem with it at all coming from, from Florida, man. It was really comfortable. Besides the handlebars, they got the shit that wrecked out of them, because it just like vibrate like that at highways. It's like crazy. What, what size is the engine? It's a Milwaukee 8, this is the engine, a 107, but it's got a cam on it. Oh, okay, a 107 with a cam in it. So this bike's pretty much been through hell and back. It's been ridden through the Australian Outback, uh, South America, he said, Bolivia, all this shit. So this this bike has been, I mean, I'd, I'd call this bike some fucking something special. Go be in through all those parts of the world. Now it's literally cruising through San Bernardino with my fucking dirty ass sitting on it. A Milwaukee 8 with a cam in it. Thing sounds nice.
<laughs> I'll just smoke them there for a quick sec. This thing's pretty fucking, like, that torque, man, you can really feel it. Dude, this is like the uh, insanely comfortable ride. And the in the little foot rest right there, I never knew those were something that would be like actually make a ride more comfortable. What it does, it's like your foot's just flat footed on like a nice little rubber piece. This thing's fucking badass though, actually. And he rode this from fucking like Miami all the way here. And I guess he's dropping it off somewhere to get shipped back out in like Riverside or some shit. So that's pretty fucking cool. I can't lie, like, I, I probably would never buy a Harley or nothing, but every time I do ride them, I do enjoy them. I do enjoy them. Maybe, maybe, maybe when I'm an older dickhead, I'll probably get one. But every time I do ride one, I can't lie, I do enjoy the uh, riding experience on them. She gets up and goes pretty good. Yeah, dude, it rips, man. It does. It, it, it'll take you by surprise, man. Don't be afraid. Damn, I didn't know Two Brothers exhaust sounded this mean on a Harley. Dude, I don't even know how fast I'm going these fucking kilometers. Isn't like 120 kilometers like 60 or some shit? I have to keep that in mind. So we're probably going like 40 to 45 right now, I'd assume. this is because I've never seen like a blinker for your left here and a blinker for your right here and then like your kill switch and then your starter right here and it's got a Bluetooth module to start it homeboy just fucking passed out right there on the side of the road man it's a really really nice ride like it, it rides nice and everything Oh yeah. <laughs> I got over the back over. Can't stop giving her a little bit of a punch and This is a fire hog, brother. This is a fire hog. I don't even know what year this is or the model or nothing. Is that a little grown? It is. Shit's all clapped out, but... Oh, we're right by the Randy Rhodes grave site. That would be actually... You know what? I'm sure he would probably appreciate to see that. I'm going to take him by that real quick. I don't know if he saw this when he was out here before. Oh, there's already someone here visiting too. Hey, did you get to see the spot last time you were here? The Randy Rhodes spot? Yeah, no, that's it. We're here. Uh, we just passed by and I was like, do you want to pick in front of it? All right, here, I'll put the bike right there. Wait, where's the... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm sure out of all people, you'd probably appreciate a Randy Rhodes visit. Yeah, so the illustrious Randy Rhodes burial grounds right here. Oh, thank you, man. I've seen it a, oh, yeah. a few times in your videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll sometimes come by and say what's up, but... So, if you guys didn't know, 
among many other talents, if you follow him on Instagram, Baker X Cherry is a hell of a guitar player on top of everything else. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. I mean, well, yeah, I don't know how to play guitar at all, so coming from me, I don't know what it means. Uh, <laughs> all right. I, I like it, you know. Oh, hell yeah. We got to show Shade Tree the old Randy spot. I'm going to get back on that DR200 and it's going to feel like I'm riding a pedal bike compared to this thing. I'm telling everybody in the video, man, you gave me my first big break on YouTube, like my first shout out. Really? Oh, yeah. oh, you mean that old that old little thing I used to do? The motor vlog and spotlight. Yeah. Damn, got the old guy on the other big hog over there. I don't know if he knows he's holding that sign upside down. Oh, I, did, I forgot about ever doing that. He said that, Chaytree said I gave him one of his first big breaks on YouTube back when I did my motovlogger spotlights and shit. My first guy will have to be one that you guys should know. And if you don't, you definitely need to go check him out. And that's Shade Tree Surgeon. Dude's like one of the most funnest motherfuckers to listen to talk about anything. Fucking, you know, you can listen to anything he says and know that you ain't getting bullshitted. Just a straight up 100% legit dude. I love watching his shit. Go ahead and check him out. <laughs> and he said that uh, I did that for him and it gave him a little boost on his channel or something. That, do you know how long ago that, whoa, easy there, buddy. Do you know how long ago that was, man? That was so long ago. I don't even remember that. I could definitely take this on a really long ride. Oh shit, they're doing a funeral here. I didn't know they do those there. Slug bug, no hitbacks. Oh, that rear window got shattered on it. Uh-oh, Swift trailer, better watch out. My poor DR200, I see him back there. Struggling up the up the hill probably in fifth. I hope this place is open, because if it isn't, it's gonna suck some dick. And from the looks of it, I don't think it is. It says 11. Is it closed? Oh, it is, okay. Works out. Oh, it's 12, so they should definitely be open. A few moments later. Dude. Hell yeah. Hey, come here, now, come, come here, here, man. Come here, come here. Thank you for coming out, man. Always Dude, love seeing always, you. And, and I'll always. see you again soon. Definitely, brother. Sorry. Definitely. I'll get your ass down to you enjoy the rest of your uh, Marine One trip. Yeah, I'm going to do so far so good. Hell yeah. You know? Hell yeah. I snapped a belt on it back in Tampa. You snapped a belt on it? Yeah, which you got to take the entire fucking, like, you got to take the bike half apart to put a new belt on it. Oh, so, I think, was that like your last video you uploaded? Yeah. Yep, so I you saw really that. You got to fuck with it to get a new belt on there. Um, but, um, so fingers crossed, I mean, it made it this, I'm far enough now that it doesn't matter. Do you have like a laptop you're editing these videos on? Yeah, uh, just one though, because I hate editing on the road. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking hate it. You know, I don't, I like editing, but I want to be in like my comfortable chair. Yeah, yeah, I, I got, got you. spot, dude. I do it in my underwear, put my feet up, you know, I got like my whole fucking thing to it. Well, hell yeah. All right, bud. Well, dude, you made the day today, and it was a pleasure seeing you again, brother. Always good to see you, brother. All right, All right man. This is goodbye to Baker X Derek. He took us again to the Rustic Inn, which, if you're in San Bernardino, is uh, where I've gone every single time with them. Good food, good beer, good people. Dude, it's, it's actually fucking nice, man. And trust me, you can go to the wrong place in San Bernardino, so be careful. <laughs> All right, we're LA bound. I'm gonna put this shit in here. Or Pomona bound, rather. All right, brother, watch out for the crackheads crossing the road and uh, have a safe trip, brother. Will do, man. You be All safe. Right. You have a good day, man.